Assalamualaikum everybody. I hope you guys are doing fine today. If so, that's great. My name is Rojak Sukiro Amtri Pradipya. I am 15 years old. I am from Matiun and currently studying in SMA Nandri Satu Mujayan. And today I am going to tell you guys that I am going to a special place. And that is a temple called Wonorejo. Why the temple named after Wonorejo? It is because the temple is located in Wonorejo, Madiun Regency, East Java. Come on, let's go! Alright, I'm at Wonorejo Temple. This place has so many historical information that has to be told to the public. Now, let me tell you a little backstory of this temple. The temple was just only two large trees on a giant mound of dirt and a single stone resembling a table. When the place was discovered for the first time, it has an abandoned and haunted aura. There was once a villager that took one of its many bricks and took it home. He then felt very sick since he decided to put the brick back to his original place. Two days later, he was feeling better. One day, someone decides to break one of its many bricks on purpose to see what will happen. Two days later, he was found dead. Hence why this temple is haunted. At June 13, 1989, a man by the name of Tupac Tupac had a dream where he met an old man. The old man didn't wear any clothes besides an underwear, a gold belt, a long white body cloth as a necklace, and little curly hair. The old man touched Pasukarto's back and said, Raise my house. Pasukarto then replied, but the old man didn't answer. But they said, Grab Pasukarto's head and then walk towards the south. They arrived at the front gate of the mound. Pasukarto took two steps into the gate only to realize that the old man has vanished. Pasukarto was suspicious of the mound of dirt and went to investigate it. His suspicion was right. After he dug the dirt mound, he discovered a Liga Joni. After some time, the Liga Joni was lifted upright, but around the Liga Joni was still covered in dirt and hasn't been unearthed yet. Then, on the year 1996, the SPSP East Java came and chose Pasukarto as the caretaker of the temple. On the year 1998, the temple was then excavated by the help of the local villagers. After passing some stages of the game, the structure of the home of the brick was completely arranged. That's the story of Wonderjo Temple. It is quite fascinating how a structure like this can still be found on the ground by accident or by curiosity. The fact that this temple isn't fully excavated yet is crazy. Some say this temple might be bigger than the other temples out there, but we'll have to wait to see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the temple, shall we? These bricks are over 100 years old and prove that they were civilizations back then. Here you can see the artifacts that were excavated along with the temple. Pretty deep. I think that's all for my vlog. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. And see you guys later.